Welcome to the Go Markets MT4 Genesis tutorial. MT4 Genesis provides a suite of tools to help you optimize your trading experience in MT4. In today's video, we're going to show you how to use the correlation matrix. Now to get started, head down to the navigator window where you'll see the expert advisors tab. To apply one of the EAs, either double left click on it or click and drag it onto the chart. Click OK to apply it and the correlation matrix window will pop open. Now the correlation matrix shows the correlation between symbols over a configurable time frame and number of bars. For example, the last 200 hourly bars. Now correlation is measured on a scale from minus 100 to positive 100, with a high positive number meaning the prices will move identically to each other, and a high negative number means they move in the opposite directions. A reading of zero means they are moving independently. So as you can see, we've got all the main currency pairs down the left hand side and the right hand side, and we're trying to see what the correlation is between the two. So for example, the dollar Swiss versus the Euro US has a minus 98 correlation, which means they're moving exactly opposite to each other, very, very highly in opposite directions. Whereas if we have a look at the Euro pound versus the euro us you'll see that it has a positive 46 number which is a high number indicating that they are actually moving in lockstep with one another now if i wanted to i could also open the screen up to show all the correlations that we have within the mt4 genesis platform here now there's a couple of other options that we have available over on the left hand side here we can actually remove some of the pairs so if we didn't want to have things like aussie cad aussie new zealand cad jpy for example we can remove some of those and tighten up the matrix now if we change to daily you can see that the correlations between the pairs have now changed considerably now we can change the number of bars as well we can go 25 50 100 200 or even up to a thousand bars and then we can actually select the various ones so if we want only those with a strong correlation then we left click on that and if we want those with no correlation or if we want those with strong or medium and so on. As a general rule, it is best to minimize the correlation between your open positions. Otherwise, you're either trading the same price action twice over, or you have two positions which are effectively canceling each other out. If you ever wanna know more about the correlations, all you need to do is left click on the number itself, and it will give you a bit more information about it and show you what the correlations are between the dollar Swiss and the dollar CAD. In this case, it's a strong positive correlation, and it will give you a bit more information so you can make a more informed decision on your trade. So that's how we use the correlation matrix and we look forward to seeing you in the next tutorial. Thank you.